September 30th. First time I'm out here at the Deer Lease. I'm so excited. I got my bow back. I got set up. So we're gonna see what happens. I got a new trailer this year. I think it's gonna be a good season. He's gonna plant. It's 82 degrees, warm, got a south wind. I'm curious to see if anything comes in. got a shot but I was trying to get the camera on them uh, so I could get it on film. I went and tried to stalk them and I didn't see them. It's a pretty good evening I saw quite a few deer and about 12 pigs. Uh, next time I'm just gonna shoot. <laughs> Alright, we'll give it a try in the morning but it should be a good couple of next days. October 5th, went out for the morning hunt, of course the feeder didn't go, the timer got messed up, uh, didn't spin any corn out, I went up there and spun it off about 7.25 or so, uh, of course about two minutes later, three deer, three deer came in, two does and a buck, uh, it's, it's hot, it's going to be in the mid 80s today, oh, folks, pretty uh, uneventful. <laughs> Good morning. Got my coffee. Head to the deer lease. October 10th. We got our first cold front. I should say cool front, but here in Texas, I'd say cold front. It's 57 degrees right now. So pretty excited about that. Only gonna get in the 70s for the next couple days. So I headed out early. I'm gonna sit in the stand this morning and hopefully see some deer action. Uh, I haven't got that deer that I want to shoot yet. Usually in October, I'm still trying to scout out for a deer. Uh, but maybe we'll get a pig or something. So, really excited. What a beautiful morning. I saw over 20 deer this morning. Five bucks. Saw one pretty decent eight point. He's got a decent little spread, you can see. But I'll tell you, it, the first cold day of the year and the deer are really moving. Uh, you can start to see that it's starting a little rutting activity actually. Uh, I know the rut starts when the days get shorter, but that cold weather does play a part because those deer are moving a whole lot more than they have the last couple weeks. So I was really excited to be out there. God, what a beautiful day it is. When I got here, I had a north wind at 15. I really, <laughs> up in that tree stand, that wind blowing, that wind chill was probably in the mid 40s. It was a little chilly, a little brisk this morning, felt great. Oh man, I love that here. Kind of a slow evening. I saw, I don't know, about 10 deer, four spikes, and a bunch of does. Uh, pigs didn't come in, so I'm kind of bummed about that. I'll get, I got another 25 minutes of light. Uh, I'll stick around, see if those pigs come in.
Okay, it's been an hour and 30 minutes since I last saw that buck. I saw three of the biggest bucks I've seen this season, this morning. That last one was definitely a shooter for me. Only got a few seconds of him on video, hopefully. I just reviewed the footage of that buck. I had him on camera for a few seconds. Uh, he's a 10 pointer. Not quite as big as I thought he was, but still pretty nice. Deer. All right, time check. It's October 11th. I'm going out for the evening hunt. Uh, right now it's 3.30. I'm going to go out a little early. Uh, maybe stock on the way into a stand. I haven't really hunted much, especially in the evening. Haven't hunted yet, so we'll give that a try. Also, it's warmed up a little bit. 69 degrees now. Clouds moved in, a little overcast, a little, little breezy. Not too bad. October 30th, 55 degrees this morning. Saw one small eight point this morning. Been foggy. Gonna hunt the rest of the weekend, see how we do. Welcome back, fully involved outdoors. Legit, that's a nice buck right there. There he is. Just staring at me. I'll see that? That deer doesn't even care. Just eat. Alright, give you a quick update. Sunday afternoon, I'm coming to you underneath this awning I just built to cover my four-wheeler over the fall. Uh, last night, went to the stand on the south side of our deer lease, saw a few does, uh, driving in, I saw a buck, uh, just kind of in the woods, I saw another buck a little ways out, so the bucks are definitely moving. Uh, this morning I got into a different area, hunted, some does came in right away, and I saw a buck across the field. I'm going to go and change it up this afternoon, and probably hunt a non-feeder. Even though I like to have the feeders full, it just uh, keeps the does around that way when the big bucks go into rut we got the does in, in this area and the bucks be chasing those because the big bucks really don't come into the feeders so anyhow we'll give that a shot this afternoon and hopefully we'll see some deer have some luck it's beautiful outside how cool is this I'm hunting out of a bulldozer sometimes I'll sit in old farm equipment the deer don't even notice you I was right, the bucks came out. They're not going into the feeders, uh, just the smaller bucks. A lot of does came out, and then several bucks, I don't know, four or five. And then finally, I saw a nice shooter at the very end. Of course, it got too dark, definitely within bow range, probably about a 50 yard shot. Really nice buck. Check out some of this footage of these deer that were walking right into, up to that bulldozer. 
it was a pretty neat night and gosh, it was exciting. November 5th, 6th, it's another hot one here in Texas. It's in the 80s. Deer are in rut. Here's uh, some footage of what I've been seeing. I've seen a few bucks here and there chasing does. Only got to hunt last night, this morning. I'm gonna get out a little bit this evening and see what I can see. Cool front should be coming in the end of this week. Maybe I'll get a chance to get back out here. Gotta go, I gotta go when the, the days I'm off, so. Give you a time check. It's November 24th, uh, Thanksgiving weekend. Uh, Colin got out of UT for the few days, came up here to hunt. Uh, I'll show you some footage from last night. Uh, saw a couple bucks last night. Weather hasn't been too great. It's warm again back in the 70s. It's in the 50s right now. We got a full moon. I uh, saw two eight points this morning. And that was about it. About to sneak out here into another field and see if uh, I can see anything. I got in this little area right here. The wind's really picked up this morning. So, but they are still, still kind of in rut actually. It's, they've been running a long time here. So hopefully we're gonna hunt this evening and hopefully maybe we'll see something and get a chance at a nice buck. Just really haven't seen any big bucks. One of the ones last night I was thinking about shooting, but he, I really never had that opportunity and he really won that big. So anyway, give it a try. Been out here in a while so I don't really know what's going on but I'm gonna hunt this evening and tomorrow and hopefully I'll see something haven't saw any real good shooters this year but I definitely need to get a buck I don't even think my feeders or one of the feeders was knocked down right when I drove up a cow knocked it down so that obviously hasn't been going Not a bad little hunt this morning. Saw two bucks and quite a few does. I did get a little cold out there. I didn't anticipate that wind. Didn't put enough clothes on this morning. So right now I'm just uh, warming up, drinking some coffee. I'm gonna go back out. It looks like they were moving pretty good. There's no moon. Uh, so it was dark last night. Got cloud cover. Also got a cold front coming in tomorrow with some rain. Uh, but if you, do, if you did notice like one of those deer, uh, his rack was broke up that's because they've been fighting all season so that's the other thing I just don't like about shooting a deer late in the season especially December usually the racks are busted up a little bit and then they don't look quite as pretty all right just 
been sitting here in this truck looking over this field, saw two deer. Started to just miss a little light rain. Uh, I don't know if you saw my video from last year. It was big, the biggest deer I was seeing were coming out when it was real overcast and rainy. Uh, so I'm going to try to mooch my way back down in there. Maybe see if I can see one of those deer. I haven't seen any big deer this year, so definitely would be nice to see that one. I got like four bucks, one good size, one in this field. <laughs> Same scenario as last year. He's about 400 yards away. Ugh. And it's nasty, miserable out. You probably won't believe it. But I went back out to that field where I hunted last year. And there's about five bucks in there, a bunch of does. One good sized buck. He was too far off. You know, I was hoping to shoot, get a 60 or 70 yard shot with a bow. But as soon as I'm out there, and cold front came through, the wind the wind came through, and pouring rain started coming down. So it drove me out of there. My camera's not really equipped for that. I wasn't under any cover. But uh, I'm so disappointed now. I mean, first decent deer I saw, and the weather kind of drove me out, and it's also getting late. It's starting to get a little dark. I need to come up with a better game plan for that field. I don't know how I'm going to get them with a bow though. They, they're they just so far out there. But, uh, hmm. And also, I didn't get anything on camera. I mean, I was just trying to get them in the binoculars and like, I was scoping several bucks, so it was just hard to work the camera and, uh, try to concentrate on trying. I tried to grunt, but I think I just scared them off doing that. Some of them, the bucks that were a little bit closer. Alright, we'll have to come back here and, uh, few weeks, maybe at the end of Christmas. Just finished the morning hunt. Wasn't too bad. Saw quite a few does. Just one buck just about eight minutes ago. It's about 945 right now. I just threw up this tent in the dark this morning. It's not the ideal bow spot because such a large area but it's really good for scouting just want to see what was moving out here today had the full moon last night uh, so I think the deer are going to be moving a little bit later this afternoon in the afternoon I'll show you a little footage of a earlier this morning seven deer came in and two coyotes came and chased those deer off Colin's back from UT for the Christmas break so he's out hunting right now have to get the report when he comes back Dude. dude, I saw 16. Are you serious? Yeah. Yeah, 13 does, 3 bucks. Uh, the bucks, I saw two decent 8 points and then like um, a 4 point, a little 4 point. A ton of does. Peter didn't fire. <laughs> so, what's new? Yeah, Peter didn't fire, but they were just cruising around up there. Nice, yeah, pretty good morning. Alright, yeah. we'll have to, have to go out this afternoon. I'm trying a different game plan happens. for that field. As you can see, the wheat's come up a little bit in this field, back behind me. But I'm going to get on this tree line down here. I'm going to sit on this tree line and overlook these fields. Hopefully some deer will come by. I saw them walk this, they walked down here. This morning they walked down this uh, bush line.
I haven't been wanting to make this video. I've been putting it off, but it's actually like January 24th. Deer season's well over with. Madeline and I are out here. We're picking up tents, you. picking up uh, You're a feeders, Where's the batteries, You're a and timers. Right We're storing there. everything back yeah. out, getting all my chairs You're a out. Uh, yeah, it just ended up being a real disappointing ah. season ah. as far as coming up with a deer. Yeah, never got on. to shoot anything. Never saw anything really big enough to shoot or never had that opportunity. Basically, uh, got the big goose egg for this year. But anyway, we're back out here. It's a nice day out here. Loading up, doing a little camping. So, give it a try again next year. Sorry for the disappointing ending of this video. But,